So I'm going to make a dish for you today, very simple. Actually, it's a tuna salad, but it has no mayonnaise, but it has herbs. So today we're going to use tarragon. So this is fresh tarragon. You know, you could buy those little packets in the store, or you could grow a little pot on your windowsill, or if you have a garden, you should put tarragon in. And it has a peppery taste. So we want some tarragon, about two tablespoons, I would say. And then this is fresh thyme. I love this because, again, it has a little peppery taste to it. It's a very fine leaf, as you can see. It's a little harder to take off the stem. So I just kind of pick off those leaves. And I don't have to do anything to this. I don't have to uh, crush it up. I don't have to mince it. It's all ready to go. But the tarragon, I do want to mince. So you want about two tablespoons of tarragon and thyme. You don't like these herbs? Okay, that's fine. You could use something else. Use parsley. Use basil. I'm just giving you options here. So the thyme is fine. Don't have to do anything to that. So I'm just going to put it in a little bowl right there and just chop up the tarragon. And you know, herbs play such a huge role in a lot of Italian cooking. A lot of sauces are herb-based. Think about a walnut sauce with, with the parsley. That's very common in southern Italy. Think about basil sauce from Liguria, also known as pesto. So sauces do play a large role. So there is our tarragon. Okay, so now that we have that, we can work with the peppers. And for this, I'm going to use just sweet bell peppers. I've got two beautiful red ones here, but if you didn't want to use those, you could use yellow, you could use orange. So we want to cut the peppers in half, like that, and take out those seeds. See? Take out those seeds. I kind of tap it out in this one, too. All right, four beautiful pepper halves. Now let me just clean up the decks here a little bit so that we can show you what happens next. Okay, now, here is our tuna. So this is tuna in olive oil. You buy it in a can like this, see? Make sure you're buying tuna in olive oil. And you just, you want about a cup of tuna. See? You can see the olive oil over the top. And I just take it and put it in a bowl with the oil. Because remember I said there's no mayonnaise to this. So put it in there with the oil. And you want to just flake this up a little bit. See? Just flake it up with a fork. And then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil to this. Because I think it looks just a little dry to me. Needs a little bit more olive oil. So a couple tablespoons, that's good. And we're going to set this aside now because instead of mayonnaise, we're going to use pureed beans for this. Okay, so this can set aside. And let me show you what I know, what I mean about the beans. So here we have some cannellini beans. You can buy them in a can. If you want to buy them dried, you can, but then you need to soak them overnight and then cook them. So this is canned cannellini beans. And when you take them out of the can, you want to rinse them really well because you know there is a lot of salt on them. So we want about a half a cup of these beans to go in with our tuna. So about a half a cup. If you didn't want to use cannellini beans, you could use chickpeas for this. So there's a half a cup of the cannellini beans. What am I going to do with this? With this, I'm going to put in another bowl, a little bigger bowl, and I'm going to puree it. You could use an immersion blender. You could use uh, just a regular blender. And it's pretty thick, so I just want to get it pureed. 
And we add those herbs. So here we have tarragon. We have thyme. It's a really healthy, healthy salad. We have a little salt. We have onions. So here we have a half of a red onion. Goes in for texture, taste, color. Look how pretty this is looking. And now we're going to add some lemon juice to this. Just like that. And mix this all around. Okay, then the last thing we need to do, let me put some more over here, is give this just a little topping of some pine nuts. So here we have some toasted pine nuts. And you just put them over the top like that, see? And they are all ready for the eating. And believe me, those herbs really make a difference. We didn't use a lot of salt, so the herbs play a huge role in these beautiful stuffed peppers that you could have for lunch or for dinner. A nice fish dinner without having to cook fish. Mm -hmm.